In order to properly monitor the chemistry conditions of various water and steam systems of a combined cycle power plant, sample lines are installed to direct a system's fluid to the sample panel. Samples are collected from the condensate system. the feed systems, the heat recovery steam generators, the hot reheat steam line, and the high pressure steam. Once the fluid reaches the sample panel, the fluid is conditioned for pressure, temperature, and flow, and then directed to water analysis equipment. This chapter will describe the sample points and identify what analyses are performed on the sample flow. Since the sample tubing and sample equipment are nearly identical for the number one and number two units, we will only discuss the flow path from the number two unit. Sample point one is the condensate pump's discharge. At the sample panel, the condensate is cooled and its pressure and flow are adjusted before flowing to the pH and specific conductivity analyzers. Provisions for manual sampling are available to further analyze the conditions of the water, for example, oxygen and iron content. Sample point two is the condensate discharge downstream of the chemical injection point to monitor the condition of the water before delivery to the heat recovery steam generators. At the sample panel, the condensate is cooled and its pressure is adjusted. From here, the sample is divided into three streams, each with a different flow rate. One stream flows to the pH analyzer. The second to the dissolved oxygen analyzer. and the final stream to the cation conductivity and specific conductivity analyzers. Provisions for manual sampling are available to further analyze the conditions of the water. Sample points three and four are the boiler feed pump suction one and two. These sample points provide a means to monitor the condition of the water leaving the low-pressure Hersig drum before delivery to the intermediate and high-pressure Hersig drums. At the sample panel, the feed water is cooled and its pressure is adjusted. Flow is adjusted just upstream of the pH analyzer and the specific conductivity analyzer. Provisions for manual sampling are available to further analyze the condition of the water. Sample points 5 and 6 are the low pressure drum 1 and 2 saturated steam. Upstream of the LP superheaters. Both samples utilize the same sample panel components. The operator must manually line up the low pressure drum that is to be sampled. At the sample panel, this sample point only provides a temperature reading and flow adjustment. The water is then directed to a trough where an operator can obtain a grab sample.
Sample points 7 and 8 are the intermediate pressure drum water section from HERSIG 1 and 2. At the sample panel, the intermediate drum boiler water is cooled and its pressure is adjusted. Flow is adjusted before flowing to the pH and specific conductivity analyzers. Provisions for manual sampling are available to further analyze the conditions of the water. Samples 9 and 10 are the intermediate pressure drum steam 1 and 2. Upstream of the IP superheaters. Both samples utilize the same sample panel components. The operator must manually line up the intermediate pressure drum that is to be sampled. At the sample panel, this sample point only provides a temperature reading and flow adjustment. The water is then directed to a trough where an operator can obtain a grab sample. Sample point 11 is the hot reheat steam line. Upstream of the intermediate section of the steam turbine. At the sample panel, the steam is condensed by a higher capacity cooler due to its much higher temperature. Flow is adjusted by a flow control valve. A temperature switch located downstream of the flow control valve will close an inline solenoid valve should the temperature of the sample exceed the temperature switch setting. This protects the sampling equipment and operating personnel from exposure to high temperature fluids. A back pressure regulating valve is installed to provide stabilized flow throughout the sample flow path and a minimal flow to the sample sink to allow for grab samples. From here, the sample is divided into three streams. Stream 1 flows through a flow control valve, resin column, and a cation conductivity analyzer. Stream 2 flows through a flow control valve and degassed cation conductivity analyzer. Stream 3 flows to a sequencer controlled solenoid valve, which directs it to the sodium analyzer as required. Sample points 12 and 13 are the high pressure drum boiler water section from HERSIG 1 and 2. At the sample panel, the high pressure drum boiler water is cooled and its pressure is adjusted. Flow is adjusted before entering the pH analyzer and the specific conductivity analyzer. Provisions for manual sampling are available to further analyze the conditions of the water. Samples 14 and 15 are the high pressure drum steam outlet from HERSIG 1 and 2. Upstream of the superheaters. Both samples utilize the same sample panel components. The operator must manually line up the high pressure drum that is to be sampled. At the sample panel, the steam is cooled, its pressure and temperature are monitored, and its flow is adjusted.
a temperature switch located downstream of the flow control valve will close an inline solenoid valve should the temperature of the sample exceed the temperature switch setting. This protects the sampling equipment and operating personnel from exposure to high temperature fluids. The operator selected sample is now directed through several paths for different analysis. First, through a three-way selector valve and a metering valve for flow control to the silica analyzer. Next, through a sequencer controlled solenoid valve that draws flow from either the hot reheat steam, high pressure saturated steam, or high pressure main steam sample lines to the sodium analyzer. Lastly, through a separate metering valve that regulates flow to a resin column and cation conductivity analyzer. A back pressure regulating valve is installed to provide stabilized flow throughout the sample flow path and a minimal flow to the sample sink to allow for grab samples. Sample point 16 is the high pressure steam line. At the sample panel, the steam is condensed by a higher capacity cooler due to its much higher temperature. Flow is adjusted by a flow control valve. A temperature switch located downstream of the flow control valve will close an inline solenoid valve should the temperature of the sample exceed the temperature switch setting. This protects the sampling equipment and operating personnel from exposure to high temperature fluids. The high pressure main steam sample is directed to several sampling paths for different analysis. First, to the silica analyzer through a three way source selector valve to draw flow from either the high pressure saturated steam or high pressure main steam sample line when aligned. A metering valve regulates this flow to the silica analyzer. Next, through a sequencer controlled solenoid valve to direct flow to the sodium analyzer when selected. Lastly, through a separate metering valve that regulates flow to a resin column and a cation conductivity analyzer. A back pressure regulating valve is installed to provide stabilized flow throughout the sample flow path and a minimal flow to the sample sink to allow for grab samples. <laughs>